Sup D-Bags, this is your boy SSJ Logan, you may also know me as Diz, and yes I will never say this is your boy again. This is a new type of game for me, I normally do indie style games that are normally like kind of Steam-esque, but uh, released on the PS4 and Xbox 360, but now I'm doing a big title which is Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, so let's press X to continue. Eyes go all shiny. Uh, gamma, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, well, well, what do we have here? A play. I would like to do. Ooh, oh, what happened to his face? What happened to your face, buddy? What happened to your face? What's this? Eighty-five percent installed. Seventy-five percent installed. Story mode. Well, it's a new game to me, so story mode. Basically, this video is going to be the intro and the tutorial, if there is one, and then we'll probably wrap it up there for part one, just to give you guys a, a slight insight as to what the game looks like, uh, how the controls feel, and basically what is going on. So, the load screen is there. Yeah. Love watching them circles turn. In the, land of... In the land of Mordor, where the shadows lie. It was here on the slopes of Mount Doom that the Dark Lord Sauron was defeated by an alliance of men and elves. It is here that for two and a half thousand years the rangers of Gondor stood watch, guarding against a nameless threat they had all but forgotten. And while the strength of Gondor faded, the power and malice of Sauron grew in darkness. Eh? Drama? He has returned to Mordor. Full stop. Shadow and flame have fallen on the black gate, and no mortal man can stand in its path. Dot dot dot. Stand in its path. See, she doesn't say the dot dot dot. I do. Attention to detail, bitches. So this is me. Hi, me. Well, they're just letters thrown together to make a word or a noise. Yeah, he's probably dead. Poke him. Poke him with the sword. See if he's dead. Poke him. Poke him. Or not. That is a perfect swing. Huh, <laughs> flashback, I'm assuming. Ha! Dear Hale, the mighty chicken So, hey, hey, counter, boom. You'll have to hit harder if you want to test your Ah, hit me, you little son of a bitch. Oh, you want some of this, you piece of shit? Huh? You little douchebag? Easy, sir. You're not a soldier yet. Right, so so far we have triangle is block and square is attack. Oh, hello! You're dead. So it's kind of flashback meets intro meets tutorial all together. Uh, R2 and square for ground execution. Sprint.
like R1 to grab and throw. I don't have anything to grab. Oh, I'll grab you. Grab and throw. You keep telling me to grab and throw, but, you know... Right, do you want me to grab and throw him? Oh, grab and shank? Right, so that was all slow-mo and dramatic, and I don't really know what was happening. These orcs are much stronger than any we've seen. They're not orcs. They're orcs. They're far worse and blah, blah, blah. Go find your mother. Go find your mother and keep her safe. I'll be right behind you, go. Oh, we're about to go badass. Or oh, we're back here. Say what? Character's not allowed to die. Take it, Dems, me misses. Put your finger in the mouth. Don't worry about it. No pulse. She dead. And a flashback. That ass. Them flowers. That smile. Is oh there it is. There it is. Right. Run to her. Sprint. You can't sprint. And give her kisses and flowers. And candy and buttholes. Yes, I did. And nothing has changed. He's still very... Look, I gave you some flowers. You're putting out or what? Yeah? There must be a better life than this. Not now. But soon. I'm just so tired of hiding here, Italian. Always moaning, woman. Always moaning. And... Uh, are the enemies right so I'm guessing this is the stealth part of the tutorial so time to go stealthy stealth is my only advantage kill Kill! Kill him dead! And there's... There's a fella sitting here. Kill you dead! Alright. Well, you could just take her and I'll keep the sword. That's a badass mace. Uh, he didn't get to pump uglies. No! He gave her flowers, but didn't get to bump uglies. Right 
This is pretty dark, to be honest. In that walker looker. And she did. So you needed me alive, but you slit my throat. Right. And now I'm in some kind of dreamland. Or, you know, limbo. Meh. It's limbo, dickhead. It's limbo. Limbo. It's limbo. You're in limbo. You are banished from death. Just a drift between the worlds of light and death. Binds us together within the walls of Arda. If what you say is true, then how do we break this curse? Probably gone. Cast it on us. So, the aim of this game is to find the person, break the curse, and die. How about I just kind of not do any of that and stay half alive? Yeah? Well, I'm... Hmm. It's a hammer. You've probably used one before. I'm not sure how that's going to come out in recording, but for some reason the sound's now coming out on my laptop. So I'm going to whack the sound down a little bit. That was very weird. So now the sound's coming through on my TV again. Right. Fast travel unlocked. Unlocking Forge Towers unlocks the Wraith's memories. Press X to continue. X. This unlocks new missions, collectible locations on the map, and Mirion. Press circle to exit. Circle. Press X to move. Oh, hold X and move forward to jump off the ledge. Whee! Sir, we missed one of you at Narcos, eh? An easy mistake to fix. Oh, pretty badass ghost bow. Right, hold L2 to enter range mode. And R2 to charge your shot. Boom. What is happening? And I died. 
Right, so use the L to move the cursor into the circle, then press the display button to counter-attack. Oh, eat shit! Eat shit! Eat all of the shit! Oh! So anyway, so I apologise if the sound comes off a bit weird because for some reason it's coming through on the TV and it, uh, right, hold R1 to grab, then press X to interrogate. What do you know of the black hand of Sauron? He is a fiend. You son of a bitch. Right, these are the captains of Sauron's army. They appear as shadows, but you don't yet know their identity. Press X to continue. By interrogating enemies, you can uncover valuable information about these captains. Press X to learn the identity of this captain. Right, so this is uh, Gmob, Gmob the Slaver. You have learned his identity. This will help you hunt him down. His title, the slaver, gives you a clue as his role in the society. Uh, you have also learned his power rating, which, as you can see, people, is four. This gives you an indication of how difficult he will be to defeat. The power rating also determines your rewards for de uh, defeating him. Rewards include ruins to upgrade your weapons and increasing your own power to unlock new ability tiers. Uh, the map on objective shows you where this captain can be located. Press X to mark your target. Yeah, cool. So now I'm assuming we get to kill this son of a bitch. No, nope, we let him go. Tutorial missions. Gold icons advance the story. Red icons display power struggles where Urux compete for uh, status. White icons represent side missions and collectibles. Uh, right. You have two available main missions. The Slaver. Save the humans trapped within Mordor and find the Black Captains. And the Spirit of Mordor. Learn more about Urux society and take down Sauron's army from within. You will obey. That is probably the tutorial trophy that everyone gets. So ladies and gentlemen, that is where I will be leaving it today. So there's someone talking. Hello. Woo. <laughs> Collect herbs to restore health. Okay, so, boom. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe. And if you want me to carry on this series, please tell me in the comments, and I will do. If you've got any other games you wish for me to play, leave a comment about them as well, and I'll get to it. So thank you very much, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.